the only ones. He was recently a guest of honor at the White House Science Fair. Please welcome back, Science Bob. Wow, that's incredible. Hello, Science Bob. How are you, sir? So, uh, well, tell us about the White House. Yeah, so uh, the last six years, Obama has had a science fair at the White House. He had brought uh, about 100 students uh, from all over the country. These are kids that are uh, building early detection systems for cancer. They are sending underwater rovers. They are finding ways to keep vaccines cold without electricity. Uh, you know, there's a lot of talk about our scores being low, and we need to work on that. But, boy, I am optimistic about wow, it. Wow, that's amazing. something as well. Time so. to explore non-Newtonian liquids. Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. Yeah, yes. <laughs> so this is a very simple. This is a do-at-home experiment. All you need is cornstarch, uh -huh. water, and food coloring. Okay. So go ahead and pour some of the water in there. Okay. I hope you aren't afraid to get your hands a little messy. No. Uh, pour about half of it in. Half. Okay. All right. And I'll have the recipe. We'll okay. put it up on your site or okay. my and Facebook then... page. Thanks. Start mixing it together. Oh. So cornstarch, uh, they have very, very small particles. And when they're under pressure, they lock up. And so you'll start to notice yeah. that this starts to feel a little weird. It wow. does. So yes. I've got, so I've got a little pre-mixed here. pre -mixed. So that you can check it out. So okay. dig into this. Okay. And I'll show you something cool about this. We can all... Oh, my gosh. Cool? It's, it's crazy yeah, because it's like, like the sand. It's like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Everybody, I'm going to pass this bowl around so you can all feel it. Because so here, I'll show you something crazy. cool you can do. Watch this. Right. If you uh, take some of it and yeah. you roll it in a ball, it'll yeah. keep its shape. As mm -hmm. long as you're rolling it into a ball, mm -hmm. and then when you stop, it becomes a liquid. I mean, so we call that, that a non-Newtonian fluid. Non Is that like quicksand? The same principle? Yeah, quicksand works the same way. Yep. And wow. these these molecules, they just lock up when they're under pressure, but not when they're not under pressure. Unbelievable. So kind of try that at home. Yeah, Kids that's a good. A lot of time that's a good try it at home, right? It's definitely yeah. a good try at okay. home. Okay. I'll tell you how we can take it to the next level. Okay. Bring it over here. Okay. If you have an old uh, speaker from your college sound system. Okay. <laughs> What you do is you uh, send a tone through it. We're going to use a 25 hertz tone. And then when you get your liquid here, watch this. Wow, and then that's amazing. Start to dance with So here, we got some towels to wash up. Towels to wash our hands. All right. Okay. Now, okay. come on over to this table. All right, thank you. You're welcome. It's kind of interesting. Uh, as you know, we have light bulbs, and they are enclosed in glass. And they're enclosed in glass for a reason. Mm -hmm. The filament in here, uh, if it's exposed to oxygen, will burn out. And I can actually show you. We've taken the glass off of one. Okay. And watch what happens when we turn this on without the glass. So oh, my burns, gosh. So burns, burns. Wow, it really and then does. And after a couple seconds, it's there gone. it goes. Wow. All right, so now... We're going to do something kind of cool. Okay. We're going to take one of those burned filaments, and this time we're going to, uh, instead of having it uh, in, surrounded by glass, we're going to surround it by liquid nitrogen. Okay. Liquid nitrogen is really cold. Let's just show you something. Can I show you something real fun you can yeah, do yeah. with this? Yeah. We're going to take some popcorn. I throw that in liquid nitrogen. All right. I'm going to pop, put this in your hand. Okay. And then pop it in your mouth and chew okay. it up. Ready? Okay. Go. Yeah, see? Smoking. Here, you gotta try this, Daniel. Here you go. That's so cool. Ready? Go ahead, pop it in. So cool. So, Hi. it's 321 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. All right, lower your safety shield or put some glasses mm. on. All right. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. You ready? We're gonna yeah. take that, take a bulb there. Okay. Very right, carefully. We're gonna put it in the liquid, but not touch uh. the bottom. Am I gonna be electrocuted? All right, there we go. It goes in the liquid, and now there's a little switch by you. Go ahead and turn it on. Oh! Wow. So this will just keep going uh, forever because the uh, liquid nitrogen will cool it and it's keeping it away from oxygen. No kidding. Isn't that awesome? That's amazing. Wow. Beautiful. We're alive. <laughs> okay. Listen, when we come back, Science Bob is going to blow our mind with some rocket science. Rocket. Yeah, actual rockets. So cool. I feel like we're in Blue Man Group. Yeah, we <laughs> For some reason, has given us cattle prods. <laughs> yes, yeah, these, yeah. these are really cool. These uh, generate high voltage sparks, and they're actually used for testing different kinds of uh, tubes and things, uh, gas tubes. But I'll give you an example of what these do. They generate the <gasps> power here, so you can see that. It's oh, kind of cool. that's like the light bulb. You know, the light bulb that you can get at the novelty shop. Yeah, yeah, like the plasma yeah. bulb. Yeah. So uh, it's kind wow. of Dr. Frankenstein style stuff. Cool. So uh, I thought, it, you know, we're always looking for cleaner fuels. 
-huh. And one of those is ethanol. Ethanol is a biofuel, so it's uh, produced from uh, plants, mostly corn and, um, and uh, some Hawaiian uh, cane. Great. And so what I've done is I put a little ethanol in there. Okay. And I set it up so that uh, when you touch the wire near it, it will create a spark gap in there. Uh -huh. And then that should uh, replicate what happens inside the engine of an ethanol-powered <laughs> car. Really? Yeah. So let's give it a try. Okay. I'm going to do it. DDK, you go. Ready? Go. <laughs> Woo! That's kind of fun, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That was terrible. <laughs> so, even though I, they told me. They told me that was going to happen and still scared me to it's death. It's loud, it is loud, yeah. <laughs> okay. So I figured, you know, science is all about having fun. So how can we take this reaction, have a little bit of fun with it? And that's when I invented the world's first high voltage triggered ethanol powered ping pong ball cannon. Oh yes. So grab mm. one of these right. and uh, bring it around the back here. Okay. So here's what we've got. Right around okay, back, let's do watch that. those cables. Okay. And Kelly Ball, have you go all the way to the far end? All the way to the far end, okay. And, uh, so here's what we've got. There's a little uh, screw on yeah. each one. That's going to create the spark gap inside. I've pre-filled the backs of these cannons with ethanol. Okay. If all goes well, when you touch that to one of these little nails, it will create a combustion reaction, and then that will shoot the ping pong cannon. What if it doesn't go well? If it doesn't go well, <laughs> uh, just go to the next one. We'll be fine. Okay. All right, and we got a little target. we got a little game here. So okay. Gelman and Art are over there. We're going to try to get as many into uh, Art or Gelman's thing, bucket. Uh, bucket. bucket. Uh, what are, what are, uh, Gelman, are you team me? And then yes, and I'm Daniel team Daniel. Gelman. Okay, okay. You know I'm team Gelman. Sorry, Sorry Daniel. Daniel. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. On your mark, get set, fire!